Hey guys, look at Minecraft Music 9 here, back with another adventure map. This one is called, like, Diamond Sword RPG. Um, now if you saw me play, uh, uh, what was it, um, A Thief's Tale, you, you'll hear me have said that I hated RPG maps, but that was when I was still kind of dumb. <laughs> so, uh, I, I don't know, so I don't, I'm gonna give this one a shot, just cause the, I don't know, but. I've adapted to RPGs, I guess. Also, um, if you want to play this map for yourself, make sure you play it in 1.8.4. Because um, I, I don't know if that works. I think that's different than 0.7. So, yeah. Anyway, um, so I grabbed these out of this chest. And, uh, clock and some cooked chicken. Okay. You are a treasure hunter. Mm. No, like, if it's narration, I'll read my voice. You are a treasure hunter. You left your lands long ago for your quest for riches. God, use some periods. One day on your journey, you overheard a conversation about a legendary enchanted diamond sword. With nothing to lose and lots to gain, you set out on this on your journey to this faraway land. Hey, a period. <laughs> Thus, now you are here after a long journey, and after securing this house from the mayor of Greentown, your journey begins. Okay. Does that mean I stole the mayor's house? Interest. Find these all over the world, and one in every dungeon. Where are you placing them? Can we access one in every dungeon? If you look out this window, you can see. Oh, okay. So that's mysterious forest, and then this one says that there's the glowstone cave, and then this has the sand village and green town. So um. Okay, so I'm a treasure hunter. Oh, wait, do I want to go out here? Let's see. It says. All signs in the rule book and the chest below. Get the sword from the glowstone cave and enter the pyramid. Level one sword needed. Okay. Uh oh, dang it. Komodo. Uh oh, well in take an inventory, okay. <laughs> so Back to focus. Or whatever. Uh, don't kill sheep when you find shears. You can shear them for wool to trade with villagers for emeralds. Okay. That's a lot of. Uh, look around before you leave. Also, see your teleport room out there on your grass. Game rules read the book in the chest. Lots of chests to store all your items. Um. Oh, this is going to be like my base of operations then? What's this? Bones for chickens before you journey afar. You read the signs on the balcony. Okay. Look around before you leave. I'll see your, tele your teleport room out there on your grass. So, I guess this is my house. Not... Okay. Stay in adventure mode. No switching. No, well, at least I can use command blocks off to go in, or going into land. Uh, no breaking item frames or paintings. Any items found in chests or across the world is yours for the taking. You can shear sheep when you have shears. Single player game only. Uh, any items? Okay. I, I, I kind of just blanked out when I read two or three. No breaking item frames or paintings. Have particle effects on all. Music down. No blocks and jukebox up. Okay. Music off, no blocks, and ripples all okay. This is kind of boring. I'll just skip ahead. Map created by Mick Five. Okay. Put that in there. Why not? And uh, yeah. Diamond sword by Mick Five. You're about to begin on your journey. You are on a quest to find the legendary enchanted diamond sword. There are many replicas, but only one true diamond sword. Your journey will take place through pyramids, mysterious forests, ice palaces, and many other dungeons. You will find many treasures on the way. Good luck. Okay, emerald. That's nice. Uh, a teleport room below. What's this do? Any like effects from iron blocks? Uh.
Glowstone Cave. Now it said I need to go. It did say I need to go to the Glowstone Cave, I think. Let me just uh, double check. Because I don't want to run through my house again. I'm lazy. Yeah. Glowstone Cave. Wait. Go ahead. Desert Pyramid level 1. So need. It said. Yeah, get to the Glowstone Cave. Get the sword from the Glowstone Cave and enter the pyramid. Okay. Sorry I sound boring. I. I don't know. Glowstone Cave ahead. Uh. Well, here, let me. Dang it. Get sword from Glowstone Cave. My guess is. That, that's my guess. That's what it says. Keep out of the flower garden. Oops. What's down here? Okay. No, what's. Uh, always look everywhere and read every sign, just like now. Ooh! That's a lot of emeralds. Didn't. Oh, is that... Okay, that's the jukebox song. Okay. Um... The wet swamps, glowstone cave, and serious groups. Okay. That's a nice little uh, mix of the things. God, these are everywhere in the chests. Um, what's the one? Glowstone cave. Beware witches and slimes. I have a feeling there's like a. Yep. Yes, another chest. As I said, look high and low. You never know where a chest can be. That's a lot of emeralds. Good poop. I keep forgetting the point of ender chests. Like, I'm gonna see those in there regardless. Close on you. Oh, no, okay. That was useless. Um, did say yeah, difficulty normal. Um, uh, where's the sword? Is it gonna be in my way? I don't know what the point of flicking the lever was. Oh. Oh, it was once I stepped off. Of Web cutter, efficiency one from Glowstone Cave, unbreakable. Good. You have a wooden sword, not the best sword, but a start. Now head to the desert pyramid. Okay, so web cutter, so it has efficiency and unbreakable. Good. I already said that. Oh, speak of the devil. Um. There's a button up there. Okay, so what did they say? Head to the desert pyramid. Okay. I have no clue how long. I thought this map was going to be a lot longer, but I'm not certain. So. Uh. Welcome to Riverwell. The mysterious forest is ahead. That's all I'm looking for. I want to go back up here. Actually, I want to check out the teleport room before I continue. Um, that's kind of creepy. Okay, no teleport from Pyramid, but it's not fair. This is the teleport room. When you have been to a dungeon, you can receive an item to use in the teleport room corresponding to that dungeon. Oh, okay. Uh, it's like only can place on block type thing. That's cool. Uh, I 
They hear villagers. I don't like tall grass. Real annoying. But there's I knew it would be it means there will be chests. Ooh. Gold coin three. Do I need to find gold coins? Is that my purpose? Maybe not. Uh Is that the one I already got? Yep. Come to Greentown. But I don't want to go to Greentown yet. Or maybe I do. Maybe Greentown's like the base or whatever. Gold coin four. Here, let me. Three, four. And put an egg up there. Why not? Uh, oh, pig. It's hard to. to the grass. Oh, he didn't drop anything. Oh yeah, mob drops. Look, they appeared off. Um, huh. My. Uh, There's no name. It's just the desert. Oh, silverfish. Wait, what does it say? Silver scarab. That's cool. Oh, that's nice. That sound. Very fitting desert music. She started running away from me. Scaredy scarab. Like a, a scared of. <laughs> um, uh, sand village entrance ahead somewhere. Nine, good poop. Oh, I wonder where. Three chests easy to walk. There are three chests easy to walk past because of the long grass. Okay, I already got all of those, I think. Oh wait, wait, I'm not supposed to kill that. Nah, I'm gonna assume that was part of it. I'm also gonna turn down these just in case it's a little too loud. Oh, I did a long jump. Go me. Okay, now what's up here? Oh yeah, the parkour thing. Don't tell me I have to do cactus parkour, please. Um, since this is right in the middle, I guess it's like the most, it's the easiest, it's the first place to go, I guess. Five. How many do I have to collect? Oh, there's villagers. Uh, oh, how do you, is there a ladder? This really is nice music. Look ahead, uh, look ahead left of bridge over the water on the other side. What, the orange thing? Point seven. Ooh. Eight. Where are one and two though? That's like a... Oh wow, I already have over a stack of emeralds. Keep checking ender chests. <laughs> okay, look for potion. Look potions for sale. Cheapest in the desert. Chickens for sale. I could use some chickens. For one, really? <laughs> oh, um, okay. Swiftness, strength. Are those the same healing? 
I'm good, I don't need a potion. And I'm, I'm all right on food. Uh, what are those guys up to? They're probably just conversing. Uh, the old ruins? Does it say, oh wait, no, I need to go to the pyramid. That looks like the top of a pair. No, that's the top of a tower. Left of the bridge. Oh, what's... Sand village ahead? I'm gonna check out the sand village. Actually, I wanna see, like, if these guys... Traveling chicken trader, traveling potion trader... Traveling chicken trader. Trader. Not trader. <laughs> um... You need torches, check behind painting in sand village. Okay. Sand village entrance somewhere below. Okay. That's a little vague, but I can manage. I mean, it's, it's not, it shouldn't be difficult, or that difficult to find. Let's find a chest at least. Okay, I think I do need to buy some chicken. Oh, <laughs> speaking of the devil. Haven't I said that already in this episode? Dang it. Uh, oh, maybe it didn't mean like just the below there. Maybe it meant like across this whole thing. I don't know. Um, okay, I want, again, I want to go to the pyramid, so... Oh yeah, there's the pyramid over there. I don't want to get too, uh... Uh... uh sidetracked, is the word. What's a desert bunny? What's this? There's a little hut? Okay. Chicken, yum. Emeralds, yum. Uh, emeralds. Again, more iron ore just randomly. Uh, six, alright. Find twelve. Look for stone caves somewhere here in the desert after you've completed the pyramid and been to Sand Village. Okay, well, I found the stone cave. Cracked stone castle. Okay, I need the torches first. Very dark and spiders. Very dark and spiders. Okay, so I'm gonna go in the. Actually, no, I still have to check around the rest of the base of the pyramid. But. Nope. Nope. Time to use the web cutter. And just because I record like 15 minutes without pausing it, I'm gonna... Actually, yeah, this will be the end of episode 1. Uh, hopefully I... Well, anyway guys, this is LEGO Minecraft 369, and uh... See ya!